Hey guys, and I just want to talk about something I saw today. Um, hmm, hmm. It was about Tiffany and Colin breaking up. And um, I guess people are surprised. I guess people are surprised that Tiffany and Colin are breaking up. I, for one, am not surprised. I saw the writing on the wall. Uh, there were, um, well, at least two red flags for me. There may have been others that went on that I didn't see, but... Uh, first of all, do you remember when Tiffany got upset because, um, her glasses, I think they're Oculus glasses that she had used for her workout routine had something to do with, uh, you know, um, how she formed her workout routine. I think she was able to travel to different countries, you know, virtually all that kind of stuff. So, um, she woke up one day and got ready to go through her routine and the oculus glasses were broken and i open it i unzip it and i open it and i said what the, what the? and then i picked it up when i picked it up when i picked it up i picked it up like this when i picked it up this is what it looked like and this part just fell and the only person other person in the house was coming so I'm just going to say this. I want to put this out there. Sometimes the people who are closest to you are the people who can sabotage your best efforts. And so I was like, hmm, that's very interesting. He was the only person in the house. And those glasses meant a lot to her. And yes, she was actually hysterical over it happening. And I opened it and I said, what the, what the, what the, what the fuck is that? And this part just fell. And uh, she was saying how, you know, how, how upset she was. And some people were saying, well, it's just because she's been homeless and people who are homeless value everything more. And this is probably true. But this was more than just the money. It was something that she had put her heart into, her soul into, and she was making progress and getting her um, herself in shape. And uh, she even talked about her abs were coming in. It was just, you know, you know, and she she's getting ready for all of the, you know, fashion wear. I mean, you know, she was on a so journey. Let me do my supernatural workout because your girl getting her body together. Abs coming in. And I open it. I unzip it. Right when I get my body together. And to have something stop that abruptly was devastating to her. Oh, but, you know, that was a flag. And uh, then Tiffany announced, as far as they're getting engaged, Tiffany announced, she said, you know what? I don't want a ring. I don't want a ring. I want buildings. I want complexes. I want apartment buildings, uh, property, real estate, something that's going to appreciate. And, you know, I don't think Kamala was feeling that. Tiffany is a very, um, she's a person that pushes the envelope, so to speak. You know, Tiffany is uh, very courageous. Uh, she knows how to seize an opportunity and make it grow for her. You know, I don't know if Common is there yet. I mean, you've got a lot of men who feel that they know women, you know, back in the past, a lot of people are saying, well, I don't mind if you don't want me to hold a door open for you, or if you want to work. These are things that were considered taboo in the past. So perhaps maybe Tiffany, you know, may in the past have been that type of woman, but this is a new day. And you've got to kind of go with the flow of what your partner wants, of what your uh uh, wife or future wife or husband wants. And in this case, she was saying, I don't want a diamond ring. And I know that's traditional, but Tiffany's not a traditional person. So I was really actually surprised that they lasted this long. As I said, the writing was on the wall. Uh, the first red flag was uh, the Oculus glasses being broken. The second one, I don't know if he really understood the impact of of what she was saying in terms of not wanting uh, a ring, but instead wanting uh, duplexes and fourplexes and that sort of thing. I don't know if he knows the direction in which she's moving. So that's unfortunate, but it's real. And I think uh, Tiffany has to move on. I don't know what Common has in mind, but Tiffany needs to move on. And um, yeah, 
I, I, I wish her the best. She has come out of some of the worst circumstances that exist in America. You know, she lived in foster care. She lived in foster care. She did not have the nurturing that many people had during their teen years. Uh, and she had a very abusive mother. And uh, during foster care, her behavior in school was such that she was always being put out of class. She was with uh, the time in the counselor's office. And if you don't know the story, the counselor got so tired of her one summer, he's, uh, she said, look, I'll give you uh, two alternatives. Either you can go to this sort of like counseling sort of group, or you can go to the Laugh Factory and take classes. And she chose the Laugh Factory. And that is what set her on the path to where she is today. So she's had to seize opportunities. She doesn't have time for a partner that's going to hold her back. Uh, she doesn't have time to be in a relationship that's going to hold her back. So, you know, this may be a good thing for her. Uh, I hope she finds someone who is going to be compatible with who she is and what she stands for. Uh, but yeah, she, she needs to be empowered and she doesn't need anyone holding her back. That's my opinion. That's my opinion on their breakup. And I'm sure many people have theirs, but, uh, Hey, this is Lit's talk and I'm talking about what I feel. Well, if you haven't caught me on, uh, YouTube under Lit's talk, you can probably find this talk there, uh, under as a third world in North America turns and vice versa. If you are getting this on YouTube, check me out. It's called Lit's Talk on Spotify. And uh, yeah, I hope to talk a lot about things that have to do with uh, housing insecurity and things that we just don't normally talk about in the mainstream.